Hey guys, we thought it would be fun to take a little time to answer some common questions we've been getting about the whole topic of hardware synth integration. In a nutshell, hardware synth integration is an amazing new feature of our flagship synth Omnisphere that lets you control it just like a hardware synth. Everything you were just hearing me do was actually Omnisphere. It bridges the gap between our software and the hardware synth world in a unique way that's never really been done before. We're now supporting over 65 hardware synths and new ones are being added all the time. Of course, with any brand new concept, there's gonna be some misunderstanding sometimes about what exactly it is and what it isn't. So let's get into it. Okay, our first question is from a hardware synth fan. What is the point of turning my beautiful analog hardware synth into a controller for a software synth? That seems insane. Why wouldn't I just use the awesome sound of my analog synth that I love? Well, of course you can use both. It's not a choice between one or the other. So don't think about this as replacing your hardware synth, but expanding its possibilities. Because there's really so much that you can do with Omnisphere that's simply not possible using only your hardware synth. For example, you can add polyphony to something like a monophonic synth like a Voyager, you can make it polyphonic. You can have multiple instances in your DAW. You can split and layer sounds. You can even put your own audio into Omnisphere and control it from a uh, Moog Voyager or another hardware synth. You can add Omnisphere's amazing effects and explore the vast sonic universe of Omnisphere, which includes granular synthesis, FM, and so much more. So here's the thing, think of it this way. You've already got a hardware synth that you love, and now you can also use that same great hands-on experience to work with Omnisphere 2. Okay, so the next question is from an Omnisphere user, so this is coming from the software side. This seems interesting, but I'm already super happy with using Omnisphere in my DAW. Why would I really need to use this hardware synth integration thing? Well, I'm stoked that you love Omnisphere so much, but honestly, the biggest limitation of all software synths, including Omnisphere, is really the user interface and that you have to do everything with this thing. So there's something very special about this, the tactile experience of using hardware synths that's so inspiring. Because that sense of touch is so powerful and intuitive to our brains as musicians, Hardware synths tend to be a lot more engaging and really encourage sonic exploration. Hardware and software both have strengths and weaknesses, of course, but with hardware synth integration, you've got something that really bridges both worlds and brings out the best aspects of each. The potential of endless uh, sonic possibilities in the software, but with the well-designed limitations of the hardware. It's really fun stuff and you can have your cake and eat it too. All right, so next question, and we get this one a lot. Is it hard to set up? It's actually super easy. You simply connect the synth, open the hardware menu, the top of the interface, and you select the hardware profile for that synth. Boom, that's it. And if you need help, you can go to the setup instructions, and it's got everything that you need uh, to get up and running. It's super, super easy. So make sure to try it out. Okay, next question. Cool, but I can't afford all those expensive hardware synths. In order to get access to the sounds of the hardware profiles in Omnisphere, do I need to own all the hardware synths? Nope. In fact, you don't need to own any of them. Every Omnisphere 2 user has access to all the sounds of the entire hardware library, which is actually pretty big right now with over 1,600 patches. And we've got some very good news as well. We're now supporting several models that are only a couple hundred bucks. So you don't have to spend too much money to try this out with, uh, with the hardware synth. Okay, the next question. Are all the sounds of my hardware synth included in Omnisphere now? No, all the sounds in the hardware library were specially created in Omnisphere using the hardware synth profile and that actual synth. They do have a lot of the personality of that synth, but they're not recreations of the original factory patches or anything like that. In other words, these are all fresh, brand new sounds that we created just for the hardware library and they came out awesome. Okay, next question. Can I make patches with the sounds in the hardware profiles even if I don't have these synths? Absolutely. All the core synthesis functionality is available to every user 
including all the new hardware synth wavetables and specially added filters, all the modulation sources, etc. Okay, the next question is from also from a hardware user. Are the sounds from the hardware synths just samples of those synths? No. In almost every profile, we're using custom modeled oscillator wavetables and not samples. And we only use those when it's absolutely necessary, for example, in the D50. And this gives the most flexibility for synthesis. All right, next one. If I own one model of hardware synth, can I access and control the sounds from another model synth in the hardware library? Definitely. Let's say if you own a Prophet 6, you can control the Moog Sub 37 sounds in the library. If you own a DeepMind, you can control the sounds of the Prophet X. So anything can access and control anything else. It's really cool. All right, next question. Cool, so can you just control any Omnisphere patch from the hardware? Yes, this is a big one and one that a lot of people seem to miss. You can use the hardware synth profile to control any Omnisphere patch. Of course, the sounds we program for that model's profile are gonna work the best with it, but most of the functionality should still work pretty well with any patch, and this is a super cool thing because Omnisphere has a lot of patches. Okay, next one. So what do you do when a hardware synth has features that Omnisphere doesn't have? Great question. We either try to develop these features and add them into Omnisphere, which is actually what we did uh, and one of the main reasons that we decided to change the architecture from two layers to four layers, and we added a state variable filter and many other things. Or the other thing we do is that we assign that control to something the hardware synth doesn't have, but is really useful to have on that synth. Like for instance, uh, the external input on the Voyager uh, turns into an effect send. Super useful because the Voyager doesn't have effects. And last question. This seems like a really cool idea, but why has no other company ever done this before? Well, it's probably because it's insanely hard work and no one's crazy enough to try this except us. <laughs> okay, so I hope this has been helpful in understanding what the whole hardware synth integration thing is about. And if you've got additional questions, please don't hesitate to shoot us an email or give us a call. Cheers and happy noise making.